Around 54,000 Australians experience a heart attack every year, and five years ago, personal trainer Emma Wilson was among them. Part of my heart had died, and they said to me that it has died and that I would need to get a new lifestyle. Time is of the essence if permanent heart damage and death is to be avoided, yeah. and that's where one of the world's so most deadly things. creatures can help. Um, Professor Glenn King has spent two decades studying the Fraser Island funnel web. What we found is it's probably the most complex venom of any terrestrial venomous animal, it has more than 3,000 molecules. Professor King and fellow team leader Dr Nathan Palpant have discovered one of those molecules can block a so-called death signal, which is sent to the heart cells during an attack. And provides a really complementary way of being able to uh, uh, intervene with those kinds of injuries uh, to help organs tolerate those stresses. The protein is being tested on human heart cells and the results are promising. We do have every reason uh, so far to believe that this is both a, a safe and a very effective drug uh, and so we are uh, very excited to progress this forward toward clinical testing in the next few years. That means much better recovery, it means much better long-term outlook, it means much less likelihood of uh, problems like heart failure um, down the track. It may also extend the amount of time donor hearts can survive outside the body, allowing them to be transported over longer distances. The discovery builds on earlier work by Professor King, who found this Fraser Island funnel web's deadly venom can also be used to treat stroke patients. Heart and brain, the two tissues that are most susceptible to ischemic stress, are the two organs where we're going to get most use for this drug. Emma Wilson's heart recovered well, and she's delighted to know another treatment may be on the way. Daya Clark, ABC News.